Alright, hey guys, Puzzle Man here. Um, last week, I... What? She's in the camera, too. That's my, that's my baby twitching at me. <laughs> Can you get a close-up of my baby? How do I do that? Right there. She's eight years old. <laughs> there, last week I did the swirl paint job on this. And what I did is I went down with a layer of Plasti Dip, then I did the swirl on it with the Rust-Oleum, then I put the clear coat over that. And the reason I put the uh, clear coat on last is I wanted to see if the Rust-Oleum would protect the uh, Plasti Dip from the chemicals in the clear coat to make it help peel easier. Because if you put clear coat directly on Plasti Dip, it makes it very brittle. So I'm going to attempt to peel this and we'll see how it comes out. Yeah. There's my other baby. It's hey, Amber. Good me. This is my fatty. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bug eyed. <laughs> she just wants attention. She'd probably sit in your lap while you did it. Let's see if she'll see me. Right, baby. So what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, well, obviously oil-based paint is not the secret ingredient that I'm looking for. It did peel off granite and I'm gonna get all the stuff out of the little cracks here later but I'm just looking for something in particular that does not affect Plasti Dip at all and I have my newly Plasti Dip shifter panel and I've got my thing of water panel and I'm running low on colors but for this particular test I'm going to try fingernail polish I don't think I have very much blue, so I'm just going to do the red first. We'll see. Mm All right, now that that's spreading, I'm gonna kind of let it do it thing across the water, and whenever it's done, I'm gonna add the swirl.
So this seems like it's spread out good enough. Shit, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a that's a reddish pink. Kind of a little red over here. Yeah. Kind of pink, reddish blue. Still came out really nice. So and that's we're we're talking minimal price here. We're talking a couple of a uh, couple like of things. Two dollars a piece, probably. Yeah. On the nail a, polish. a fingernail polish here, and uh, you know, just just your standard white plasti dip. Now, if I'd have gone a little bit thicker on the red, I'm sure it wouldn't have come out as pink, and I can't, I'm not sure if you can even tell how pink that is, but my goal with this is I'm going to let this sit on here for a week and then attempt to peel it to see if it's a little bit easier to get off than what it was um, with spraying that clear over an oil-based paint. And the reason I want to try this is because with fingernail polish, it already comes out as a gloss. So I'm going to try to avoid the whole... Uh, uh, spraying a, a clear over it all together and after a week of this I'm gonna try to peel it and I'll do another video on it then and we'll see if it's a little bit easier than last time so until then guys I am the puzzle man and I will see you next video